Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Mark Green, the Diabetes Diet Guy, and today we're looking at five surprising things affecting your blood glucose level. Let's go. Number one on our list is heat. Who'd have thought something as arbitrary as the weather could affect how your blood glucose levels respond? Now this one's mostly for the insulin users out there, but when we're operating or living in conditions that are either pretty hot or cold, it can affect how your glucose levels respond. The reason being, particularly with the heat, is when it's hot, your blood vessels start to vasodilate, so they open up. And this allows insulin to travel around your body more quickly, and as a result, it leaves people more susceptible to low blood glucose levels or hypos. However, we do get reports from patients that the heat also causes high glucose levels, so it can affect people in different ways. Of course, when it's extremely cold, the opposite is true. Number two is stress. Have you ever been so stressed that you feel that your heart starts to beat out of your chest or you start to feel clammy and hot or your cheeks might start to redden? Well, that is a psychological event causing a physiological response. And typically this is to do with the hormones that your body is releasing, mostly adrenaline and noradrenaline. Most people are aware of what adrenaline is, but it is our fight or flight hormone. So it gets us prepared for stressful situations. So going back to our caveman ancestry, if you saw a bear or a lion coming at you, adrenaline would kick in and give you the energy to run away. So what adrenaline is really doing is it's getting things moving. It speeds up the heart rate, but also it releases energy to allow you to do the things that you need to do. And one of those energy sources is glycogen, which is the storage form of glucose. It comes from the liver, the kidneys and the muscles. So when you're stressed, your body starts to release glucose and as a result, your baseline glucose levels will start to rise. Number three, illness and infection. This is very similar to stress, but it comes about in a slightly different way. When your body is sick, it is in a stress state and it has to respond to that. Particularly if you're fighting illness or infection, your body will be releasing more antibodies, the immune system will be upregulated, and as we mentioned, those hormones will be changing all the time to help you get in the best potential state to fight the illness or infection. Now, having worked in the hospital for some time, I can vouch for the fact that when patients are particularly stressed or ill, their glucose levels do rise far and above what would be normal for them. Any patient with type 1 diabetes will be very familiar with sick day rules, where they often have to increase their insulin, sometimes even double it, in order to get on top of their glucose levels when they're feeling unwell. So if you're feeling like your glucose levels are a bit higher than normal without any obvious explanation, it might be an early warning sign that you're either unwell or have an underlying infection somewhere. This puts your body into a state of high alert and will increase your metabolism, which also then releases more glucose into your system. And as a result, you end up with high glucose levels. Number four, caffeine. Caffeine is a stimulant. So like stress, it gets things going. The heart rate starts to increase and it will also increase the circulation of blood as a result. Now, because it's a stimulant, it acts very similar in the way to something like adrenaline. Although it won't be the exact same response, caffeine can make your body start to release more glucose from its storage. And as a result, you can see an increase in your glucose levels. In fact, I've had some patients who see a huge rise in their glucose levels after breakfast when breakfast was only a cup of coffee. And number five, sleep. We still don't really understand exactly how sleep works and what our body's actually doing when we are going to sleep. But one thing we do know is that we need it. When you have a bad night's sleep, we can see from glucose graphs and the medical literature that people's glucose levels tend to be higher. This might be to do with the hormones that are released around sleep and how that then affects your glucose levels, particularly upon waking, but can also throw you out for the rest of the day. There's also a lot of evidence to show that when people are sleep deprived, they tend to choose unhealthier food options and have increased cravings. And obviously, if you're putting those foods into your body and eating them or drinking them, it can have knock-on effects with your glucose levels, which ultimately pushes them up. So if you're burning the candle at both ends, maybe just think about your sleep and make it a priority if you can. And there you have it, guys. Five surprising things that affect blood glucose levels. The reason I find them quite surprising is because none of them are really to do with your diet or lifestyle, generally speaking, maybe sleep, and but they can have a huge effect on your glucose levels. So just something to watch out for, particularly if you can't explain why your glucose levels are suddenly different on a particular day. Maybe it might just be worth thinking about the weather, whether or not you're stressed. Do you have something brewing that you're not aware of? How's your caffeine intake? 
And of course, are you getting enough sleep? As always, guys, just a quick message to say thanks for watching. And if you found it useful to like, subscribe and share with any friends, family or anyone that you think might benefit from this. The more people we get in front of, the more we can help. And it also helps us with the YouTube algorithm. If you need an extra helping hand, we do offer consultancy services where we'll work with you one to one to help you get to your lifestyle goals or improve your diabetes control. Head over to diabetesdietguide.com and check out our consultancy page where there's more information available. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later.